Hello everyone, welcome back. Thanks for clicking play and checking out another episode. Uh, today I just have Koku uh, joining me around my neck, just hanging out. And I want to just uh, go over uh, what I've been up to in the my reptile room. Have a little bit of an upgrade that I did. Uh, you can see behind me, um, basically what I did, I just went out and purchased a couple uh, shelving units and moved everything into one room or almost everything into one room actually. Um, I just have uh, Coco, uh, my ball python, and my garter snake Gigi. Uh, those two aren't in the shot here, but um, I'll take the camera around in a little bit and just let you see uh, the shelves that I picked out and how they go together and how they look uh, close up. Uh, these are, I think, uh, quite nice looking shelves. There's uh, a few I've seen that Looked a little bit more industrial. Um, these are a little more, I think, attractive in a room. But yeah, let's uh, take it off the tripod here and uh, we'll stand up and we'll go walk over there and let you see them. Okay, just starting off the recording from a little bit farther back with a little bit of the lighting that I have going on. And then we'll kind of zoom in, just go through everyone here again. This is uh, Desi, my bearded dragon, which is kind of hanging out, hiding under his cave rock and then uh cosmo the crested gecko and here is the racking or a shelving system that i have and uh, it's it's pretty nice it's uh no tools required it uh snaps together as a uh, pre-slotted uh slots that uh the beams go into and yeah went together really quickly i think the longest it took was just the first one getting things measured out heights of the tank heights of the lights on top of the tank but um, you can see here, there, there's a bunch that look like this, but um, the, what I thought was nice about this one is there's no um, there's no uh, holes, perforated holes all the way through, so it does look a little bit more finished. Actually, let me just pop on a light here, a little more of a brighter one here, one second. They're just kind of brightens things up a little bit just for let you see it so again yeah up close um you'll see no holes on the outside of it a little more of like a hammered steel look and that's on the inside you can see the slotted marks where you can put your adjustments in wherever you want to go raise and lower um, this one here can be split into um two two racks but if you're doing it uh, double tall which is about 72 inches you do need the center one uh, attached that supports the bottom and the top together and locks them together. I have my leopard gecko gizmo up here on the top and you can see as well the um, wood it's a laminated there are some that are just particle board which are okay but if you spill anything on it it soaks up water and uh, it can stain but this is a laminated wood it's probably just particle board or MDF but at least it's uh, laminated and then I'll go over to this shelf here same thing just a little bit of smaller dimensions this is housing all my crested geckos or not all of them all my juveniles I should say and um, yeah so this shelf here measures out uh, 36 wide uh, 22 inches uh, sorry yeah, sorry, 41 inches wide, uh, 18 inches deep, and 72 inches high. This one here is 46 inches wide, 22 inches deep, and again, 72 inches tall. I think I said that correctly, I hope. So yeah, that's uh, about it. So just some ideas if you're looking at uh, expanding your reptile uh, shelving or looking what to do this year. Uh, still have an open slot so who knows what's gonna go there maybe I'll bring my garter snake down there that's actually what I'll probably do but yeah just uh, again farther away you can see kind of cleans things up gets things all in one spot and that does that so yeah I'll stop the video go back around and finish off and I'll give you a little more information where I got it and where you can pick these up all right so that's um, gonna end the video here just i picked these up at a store called canadian tire i'm from canada 
if you're not in Canada, I did see these um, online at uh, Home Depot, um, Lowe's, I think it was, and Amazon. So uh, a few different stores have them. I think what uh, what it is is an, one main company makes them, and each store kind of puts their name on it and calls it their own. But um, they're not exclusive to Canadian Tire, so you'll be able to pick these up uh, at other hardware stores. And yeah, I just think these are actually look pretty decent they uh, were on sale they didn't cost a whole lot of money um one was about 150 dollars on sale the other one was 119 if you're in the u.s obviously you'll, you'll find that probably a good amount cheaper but yeah i think these worked out really well so i uh, just wanted to let you see my ideas and how i put it together and if you're looking for any sort of shelving units uh maybe this video will help you decide what to get and uh, we'll catch you again. So thanks for checking out another video. Have a good one.